Here's my quick setup for trying the magnetron sputtering discharge. So I've got a jam jar here, um, diamond drilled through the top, and a little aluminium block with a vacuum connection and a little air inlet needle valve. Uh, the base is a aluminium disc and a silicon rubber gasket. The magnet magnet assembly is a microwave oven magnet with a steel pole piece in the middle and a bit of steel plate on the back to complete the magnetic circuit. So it will sit underneath the aluminium plate like that. Uh, power is from my uh, simmer supply and it does about maybe 150 milliamps or so. So let's connect it up. Um, should sit just about there. Hold that down and I'll turn that. Oh, oh. <coughs> okay. So, cathode to the bottom and anode to the top. Turn on. There we go. So the discharge is pretty much filling the, the whole uh, jam jar. And it's about a kilovolt at 80 milliamps. Now, watch what happens when I sit it on top of the, the magnet. See the discharge. There. I'll turn the camera intensity down a bit so you can actually see it. The discharge is confined to a perfect ring on the base. What's more, <coughs> the current has been up to about 200 milliamps and the voltage has dropped to maybe 300 volts, so the resistance has dropped drastically. And I'm lifting it off and on the, the magnet assembly. The discharge ring corresponds to the, the annular space between the pole piece and the magnet. I have actually tried sputtering, but too much heat is really generated to let you run this for any length of time. Um, this top part heats up as does the, the cathode plate at the bottom so you would need water cooling or something really to, to make it worthwhile. But it's nice to see the annular discharge uh, happening. Okay, thanks for watching.